in this video I'll take you to the area where the battle that inspired the Netflix movie The Forgotten Battle was fought in World War II. Visit a memorial to those who fought there, then head up the Zealand coast to see the lie of the land. As we head to our first stop off, a reminder, this video is part of a series where we took the ferry from Hull to Rotterdam and drove to Ypres to look around the area and town, taking in the famous daily Menning Gate ceremony. You can see videos of the series via the link on the screen now. This film will take us through Zealand up the coast to Journey's End near Rotterdam. Our first stop off, the Slowdown Memorial, the Causeway which we nearly missed. That's to turn around and come back. It is, isn't it? <laughs> it's about half a mile out. Well, about 100 metres out. Of it's not the easiest of monuments to find. It's right next to a large dual carriageway and also a road. There's not a lot of parking around. But if you want to pay respects to those that fell here, uh, this is the place to come. The Battle of Walcheren Causeway was one of a series of engagements in the autumn of 1944. With the Allies now in control of Antwerp, the aim of the campaign was to remove German forces in the area, thereby opening up the Belgian city as a place the Allies could bring supplies into. This monument was erected and dedicated in the 1980s. The causeway itself no longer exists as such. Land has been reclaimed and the channel is now farmland. There is a lot more to see in this area connected with the campaign in 1944. However, our time was short. We had a ferry that we could not miss. So it's time to head up the coast. If this video is proving helpful in planning your own visit, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button to help me grow the channel. Well, the drive up through Zealand is certainly different. I wouldn't describe it as pretty. It is impressive. It is landscape that's worth seeing, but it's certainly not pretty. Uh, we've still got probably about another hour's drive till we get to Rotterdam. If you'd like to keep up with my travels, and I have a series coming soon from the Azores, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Heading along the coast, there was one thing I'd certainly need to do. See a beach and the North Sea. Time for a detour. I know it's not the warmest of days, but there is plenty of space at this beach if you want to chill out or do some water sport. From here, it's a 30 to 40 minute drive to the ferry.
If you have any suggestions for other battlefields I should visit on this channel, let me know in the comments section below. We've made it in time for the ferry. On the next video on this channel, you'll be able to see my time on board from the basic, the room, to the more expensive, the meal. And what led to this? Hey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>